Boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play with Wolves. As you can see, I have been doing... Oop, oop, doop, 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 oops, there we go, okay. Um, as you can see, I've been doing a bit of acquiring of resources. Um, all these are just kind of playing around to see how it looks and stuff. Honestly, it doesn't look... It looks pretty good, I think. Um, and it even goes well together. Well, I was just kind of playing around with different patterns here. Um, but, yeah, there's definitely a lot of possibility, I think. Um, so I have a pretty much full inventory. As you can see, I've found some diamonds and lapis and redstone and coal and iron and gold as well as these other uh, new blocks. Just have a mine shaft going down and it's these new stone types are pretty easy to find. Um, filled up this donkey's inventory as well. There we go. And let us go up back to ouch. It's kind of annoying how you have to get off it uh, horse or donkey to get it through a portal. Hello sheep. Welcome to the nether. Okay, well, I'll see you guys back at the, uh, base. Okay. We're back at the base here. And today's project is going to be <laughs> working on our village setup. Um, so for a village to be, for villagers to consider something to be a village, I think need their doors to have um, access to the sky on one side, even if it's through a, um, glass or something. I think and then like it does like a search for like if it has access to sky I think and then they'll consider that to be like a house even if there aren't walls I think but I'm gonna try and do like a simple layout here so I'll be back in a moment alright so a bit of work here. Spent quite a bit of time kind of clearing out some space and putting up some more glass so that they have more access to light or to sky, I guess. Um, but these blocks are not really working for me here. I mean, I like the look of them. At the same time, I don't really know how to use them yet. Um. So I think that I am going to have to use quartz for this project, because I think I'll just match everything else much better. Yeah. Let's try some quartz. Oh, there we go. Alright. So, I am definitely feeling this a lot more. And so far we've got six doors. That might be enough for one villager. I don't know remember what the calculations are. But we're just gonna primarily import them, I think. So if we let's see if we can find the uh, right map for this area. I need to make a map spot. Why are there two dots on that? Oh, to showing the other map. What about this one? Yeah. So, just kind of up in that direction a little bit into the desert, there is a village for sure. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to get them down here. I know I can 
you can't leash them like you can with animals, unfortunately. And they don't follow anything. And if you push them, they'll just kind of run back to wherever they feel safe. So the only real way to move them from place to place is, to my knowledge, like I suppose you could use water to push them around. That would be really difficult. We are going to be using rail carts. And we're going to want at least two. And I'll need to clear off the rest of my inventory here. Ooh. Got stacks on stacks of cobblestone. So much cobblestone. I just had this on me because I thought maybe I'd uh, use it as filler, but didn't. Put you over there, and you in there. Or actually in this one. And this one. Alright, so we're going to... Wait, so we're going to get them to the coast here. And then what? And then... Maybe we'll dig a hole to the surface, actually. That might be the best thing. Alright, well I'll be back with you when we get to the village. So here we are at the village, and well, as you can see I've already made some changes. I've added this uh, series of doors to try and get them to breed and create children with the new trading um, changes that were made. Hey. I must have traded with that guy. Um, but they don't seem to be doing it. But I was just doing some reading, and apparently they it might require a restart of the game, a reload of the world. Um, and as you can see, I've done a railroad track all the way back to our base. It's not really that far. Um, tried to put it in a place where I'd be able to push them to it easily. But let's try and reload the game quickly. And, and let's see if that does anything. So they'll have hearts above them if they're going to breed. I can't hear them very well right now. They normally make interesting noises. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so I guess I'm just going to wait around until they breed. Okay, after reading a little bit more about them, apparently one of the recent changes is that you need to now trade with them to get them to breed. Um, but also, so I gathered some wheat and traded with this guy, and he got the, uh, the new trades, it looks like. So, he apparently updated to a newer guy. Uh, so let's try and get this guy back, at the very least. Now, run him back and see if he does... Hey, come on now. There we go. Oh. Hmm. 
There he goes. I should have really set up minecart system with a purpose. Holy crap, he's really a going. And that's without any of the special rails. Holy moly. Oh. Hopefully he's okay. He's okay! Let's see if he likes his new home. jumping in. Oh no! He's not in here. There you are. What? How did you... I don't know how he got over there. How did... How do you do that guy? Come back over here. Come on, come on, get to safety. Stop cohorting with s slimes. Well, relative safety. Maybe I need to make sure that's completely sealed and safe before I actually get villagers. Just want to get emeralds. Hey! Oh, Jesus! Villager guy. Hi. Her? Maybe I should make an iron golem here to protect him. Or I can just get more villagers here until they make one. Maybe. Or I could just make sure that this area is safe. So many options. So little time. Where are you going? Because this one at the very least should count. <laughs> Except if the pack's open. Alright, well I'm going to do a bit more work with these villagers. Perhaps get another one or two here and then we'll see what happens. So I don't think that I um, should import any more villagers until I get that area sealed off. Because he just got chased by a zombie down here. Although, honestly, he's probably a little safer down here. It's a little bit more sealed off. Which means I'm going to have to go quartz mining to get enough. But, while we have him down here, we might as well take advantage of his trades and get some emeralds and see what else we can unlock. Yeah, I like that too. Let's do... Oh, this one is better. He likes it. And you get experience for trading with them nowadays, too, so that's... 
Um, don't need that. Oh, there's some particle effects. Just thinking that there should be some. Let's see if you got anything new. Ooh, pumpkins. Pumpkin pie! I don't know if there's a recipe for that. That might be the only way to get it. I feel like buying some, just because. Does that unlock anything else? Hi. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, wow! And then melons, too. That's a good way to get rid of melons. Well, you can buy apples! Oh, that's... Well, I don't really use that many apples, but still. Let's do a little bit more trading here. I wonder if you can ever overdo it. Yeah, there it goes. Trade something else to unlock. Okay. So if we trade potatoes now, does it come back immediately or... No, not yet. Oh, and... Well, let's put this back and then see what happens. Oh, there's the particles. And... Oh, they're both good again. Very good. And... Ooh, cookies! I know you can make cookies, I just never have before. And cake! You can... I know there's a recipe for making cake. I've also never made cake before. But mainly what I want from them is emeralds. Because emeralds are so nice. Let's put that back. Trade some more potatoes. That's all of my potatoes. This is a better deal over here. Oh! Didn't like that, did ya? Well, okay, well we got this one still too. Neener, neener, neener. Uh, actually, let's save that and see if he gets any more trades. He's getting a lot of trades here. Apparently they added some new trades. I think the pumpkin pie might be a new one. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I think that's it. Let's do some more carrots. Oh, that's done already. Has an interesting selective memory, apparently. Do I have only oh, yeah, for one more? There, yeah, but just from trading with one guy, we've got a fair number of. That was hardly any stacks, actually. Look at all the stuff I still have. Although I kind of want the wheat for making hay bales as well. Why? I don't know. Just feel like I should. Um. And with this automatic, oops, with this simple automatic farm, oops, getting lots of pumpkins and melons, so that would be a good source of tradery as well. And I know the librarian trades for uh, paper, so we've got a source of pretty simple, easy source of paper here. Or sometimes it's books, which you can make from paper. <laughs> Just one additional step, really. Um, oh yeah, that's coming up for a crafting bench, but there is one down there. I just always forget it's hiding there. But then with emeralds, you can go like this and make a beautiful, oh, make a beautiful block. Now that might match with our decor. Um, where is the spot we could try it? I don't know. No, that will fall down, probably. Let's just throw one there. Uh, let's use it as an accent block in this village we're going to build. 
I think that's a good idea. And it makes sense. I wonder if I should have gone up. But I have a uh, stairs uh, for the moment. What if I replace these ones with the emerald blocks? How did that look? Ugh. It's a pick, it is too mighty. Ah, mighty pick. He's like, that should be a character or something. The mighty pick. I've come to take you. I've come to break you up. Hmm. That might work. It just might at that. Kind of like it. It provides a pretty high contrast, but at the same time looks pretty cool, I think. Well, we can think about it. Oh, apparently I've got my silk touch on the bar. Oops. Oops. There we go. Right. Well, I'm going to go mine some more quartz and possibly do some more excavation here. I'll be back again. Oh! Oh! I pressed record, he jumped forward quite a bit. But it looks like our villager died. Haha. -ha. Looks like he got infected by that guy. So it turned into a zombie. To the shame, really. He was a good trader. I just spent a little bit of time away, and this is what happens. Could have turned him back, but that's a bit of work and I'd have to trap him and do all of that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm, there's a village nearby still, so I can go get some more guys from that and get them to breed and such. Let's see, throw you guys in there. Oh, that was my surprise. You guys see it? This is what, that was what we're going to do next episode. This. I managed to get them after quite a bit of work. Um, they will... Well, I'll show you those next time. Um, oh, yeah. And this is all the quartz I got. Got about... Uh, probably that much. From here to here. And that. I think that every one of these blocks requires four of these. Thankfully, um, I have a fortune pick because it speeds things up. And alright, I'm gonna do a more work building related. Hopefully, we can make a safe place for our villagers. Alright, so this is all the work I've really got done so far. This is one room as it stands. It's going to be kind of like apartment style. I think I'm going to do... We are going to do... Oh, oops. Oops. Um, I'm going to do one more floor above that. Oh, there's no... <laughs> there's no easy way up there right now from within the here. I did have stairs back there, but I kind of blocked them off, I think, yeah. Although I can always go in like this, I suppose. There we go. Unless we have... Um, oh, yeah! There we go. Um, no! <laughs> oh. Uh, no way that works. Although I realize I could just go out the store, too. The doors are so troublesome, you know? But they will be required to keep the villagers safe. Um, so we're going to glass it all off and make it inaccessible, except through iron doors or perhaps piston doors. Probably just iron doors. Two access points. One, two, 
um, three at the very least. I don't think I'm going to do one for the next floor of their apartments. And I don't even think that the multiple floors will count, actually. But I still feel like doing it. Because I think they only check on the same approximate level as them. I think? That's how it used to be, I'm fairly certain. And um, with those chests you can access it from the uh, floor below so that I can put all of the farming goods in them. Because I've done a little bit more experimenting with the villagers over there and I managed to breed two more villagers through some luck and perseverance and have them grow up. And it seems like the best villagers are the farmer ones because they got the most easily accessible trades for the best deals, I suppose. Well, just easier to get large quantities of them and thus trade them. And you can switch between tradings with different ones because of there's so many different things you can go. Um, right, and next episode we're going to do something special to speed up the process of removing this hunk of rock here. Uh, which includes fighting something very interesting. Oh, which reminds me I should uh, get some special armor ready for that. Well, at least some a chest place and some leggings. So we'll definitely want it, I feel. Alright, but we're going to end the episode here today. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and let's play again later. Bye-bye.